Time now to get the nation's political pulse, and we have just the person for that. How was that for an intro, Nick? Did you like that for Saturday morning? That's very kind of you, Roger. Nick Nano is founder and chief data scientist at Nanos Research. Always a pleasure, sir, to have you here. Great to join you. Well, let's talk about the leaders off the top. Really, there's only uh, one leader at the top right now, and that's Pierre Poilievre. You know, absolutely. You know, the thing is, is that when we look at that tracking, you know, the Conservatives and Pierre Poilievre still are firmly in the driver's seat. Probably speaks to why the Liberals probably don't want an election at this particular point in time. We have the we have the Conservatives at 41 percent nationally, which keeps them still in majority territory. But, you know, check out the Liberal and the NDP numbers. You know, you can see wow. that, uh, you know, for Trudeau, uh, he's at 24, Singh 21. You know, the reality is, is that factoring uh, the margin of error for the survey, it's uh, it's a statistical dead heat uh, between uh, between those two. And uh, probably speaks to the pressure that Trudeau is under to not have an election, but also the opportunity potentially for Singh if he gets a bit of a win out of this uh, pharmacare deal that he's just made. It might have him thinking in the NDP, thinking that maybe the opposition is a good sounding name for them. Yeah, I don't know. Is there, I guess, a political itchy trigger finger? I don't know how appropriate that is. But anyways, uh, you know, if, if you're Jagmeet Singh, if the numbers close between the Liberals and the NDP, that is uh, almost like a doomsday scenario for the Liberals. Uh, also, a big opportunity, not just for Pierre Poiliev, but for, uh, but for Jagmeet Singh at the same time. Because if you remember, Roger, in the olden days, when the New Democrats were the opposition, this type of situation where the New Democrats were very competitive, and pulled up with the Liberals and then eventually surpassed the Liberals, uh, you know, put Jack Layton and Tom Mulcair mm -hmm. in, uh, in the official opposition seat. So we may, we may see that again. Also, uh, you polled who was the best leader to negotiate with Trump as that uh, looms as a possibility again. Yeah, I guess this is, a, I don't know, fantasy polling? Anyways, this was <laughs> a survey with Bloomberg News. You know, a what if, uh, you know, and, you know, we asked two different questions. One question had to do with uh, who would be the best to negotiate or who would be a better negotiator with Donald Trump mm -hmm. from the federal party leaders. What's interesting is Pierre Poiliev, you can see, nudged out Justin Trudeau by like 11 percentage points. This is quite is surprising. Is that even a nudge? Yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, is considering the fact that Trudeau has negotiated with Donald Trump, did get the most current uh, trade deal. I think it's got to be disappointing if you're Justin Trudeau to see the 11 points back of the guy that's never negotiated uh, as prime minister for anything. So positive news for Pierre Poiliev. Still, people that say that won't make any difference at around 25 percent and those unsure at eight. But I think the key takeaway here on the negotiating front, the best leader to negotiate, Pierre Poiliev clearly has an advantage today. All right. Very interesting. And, and then also, uh, who would do the better job when it was advocating for Canada's best interest was the other question, was it not? Yeah, absolutely. Not much of a, an advantage for anyone on this front. This basically kind of says who will be the negotiator, who might be the negotiator that would best advocate for Canada's interests. And it's a dead heat, you can see, between uh, Justin Trudeau and Pierre Poilievre, 38, 37, 19, no difference, six unsure. So that's one out of every four between those two categories. So the key takeaway from this survey is that Canadians generally think that Pierre Poilievre would probably do a better job negotiating, but as an advocate, he's basically on the same level as Justin Trudeau if we had to deal with the hypothetical Trump administration. And we'd just like to clarify for those people that might just be getting up, Donald Trump is not the president currently. You know, Joe Biden is, but right now it looks like the two main uh, two main challengers, at least for the presidential race, will be uh, Joe Biden and Donald Trump. And quickly before we go, I want to ask, how was Ottawa for uh, you being invested into the Order of Canada this week officially? Oh, it was great. You know, it's, uh, I don't know, I'm still digesting all of that stuff, Roger, so uh, that's okay. That's, thank you for mentioning it. <laughs> well, congratulations, Mr. Modest, but well done and, and well deserved. 